When we're doing advanced custom work and making custom beauty panels and other interior pieces throughout a car audio build or a custom car build, we like to use neodymium magnets. There are many advantages to using magnets throughout a build. I'm gonna cover some in this video, but ultimately what's really nice is this satisfying <laughs> click. But there are some challenges with using magnets and in order to do it right and get the best results, we need the right tools. And that's why Mobile Solutions has come out with the new magnet fitment system. I'm Mark from the YouTube channel, Car Audio Fabrication. I'm here today on behalf of Mobile Solutions to show you guys how this new tool is used and some of the advantages. Let's do it. To kick things off here, let's take an up close look at the magnet fitment system. And then we're going to go through a step-by-step -step process on how to use this in order to use magnets to attach panels. First off, you can see that the main tray that everything is organized into is the standard mobile solutions tray size. This fits all of the different slat wall tray holders as well as the grid wall tray holders that mobile solutions has. That way you can keep your shop nice and organized. You can have this alongside all of your other tools that you're using. It's very easy to access and you can quickly identify what each size is. Included on the tray are four drill bits. These are all the same size and these will be used to transfer the center hole location for each magnet. Next up are the smart mag alignment plates and each of these has a different sized magnet incorporated into it. So this is a quarter inch magnet, a three eighths inch magnet, a half inch magnet, and a three quarter inch magnet. Each of the alignment plates has the letter N inscribed into it. And this is so you can be consistent with your magnet polarity as you're inserting the magnets into your panel later. When Mobile Solutions is manufacturing these, they make sure that they put the testing magnet in, in the correct polarity. So you can see if I attach the south side to the north side there, they attract each other and I can check each one. So these are all good to go. These are made from a very robust, thick acrylic, which is very important because later we're gonna be using a mallet on them. Finally, there are four different sizes of magnet match countersink bits. Now I wanna stress something here that is really important. These are not off the shelf bits. Mobile Solutions is having these custom machined and that's very important to realize because this bit does not create a nominal half inch size hole. It actually creates a hole that is sized to be a little bit smaller. That way when we do go to put these half inch magnets into the hole that we're making with this, the magnets will fit nice and tight. Let's use the magnet fitment system here in an example. Now, why would we want to use magnets in the first place to hold a panel inside of another panel? Well, a good reason to do this is you want this panel to be easily removable when need be to access something else behind this panel. You'll find that a lot of times in custom fabrication, you wanna make everything serviceable. You don't wanna be holding it permanently together. So you need to engineer a way when you're assembling everything that you can hide different fasteners. And a good way to do this is with a magnetized panel that can sit right here. So in this example, let's say that we're holding this panel to something else using this fastener here. This is just a machine bolt. And let's say that we've countersunk that down in and the threads are sticking out there. That way it can hold something together in this example. And I'm gonna pull it out just so it's not sticking there, but you guys get the idea. This can then sit over the top of it and it can hide it. Another good reason to use magnets for this type of assembly as opposed to using something like a plastic fastener is these plastic fasteners have a tendency to become worn down after being removed just a couple of times, whereas neodymium magnets can retain their magnetic strength for hundreds of years. Additionally, with magnets, we can fit them in a much tighter location. As an example, for some of these half inch sized magnets here, you only have to drill a little over an eighth of an inch in order to have that magnet in there. Whereas to have this, you can see that you'd have to drill about a half of an inch into your material. So these are a lot lower profile, a great solution. And I will mention this because people ask all the time, what if you're doing a subwoofer box? Doesn't that rattle? The intent is that you want to use this on panels that are lighter, that are going to hide your panels that have more strength with mechanical fasteners. And how many magnets you use is just something you're gonna have to get a feel for over time. If it's not strong enough, you can always add more. To start the magnet fitment process, I first mark out a couple of locations here that I'm gonna be using for the pairs of magnets. Next up, I stick some double-sided template tape on the back of my panel, and this allows me to temporarily hold that in position where I want it to be lined up. Now I need to determine what size magnets I wanna use here. And instead of trying to pull one off and kind of get an idea for what's going to look right, what I found works really nice is to take the magnet alignment plates, and we can see that the 3 8 inch magnet, that might be a little small. What if we go with the half inch magnet there? 
Yeah, that will work nicely. We should have plenty of room on each side and this will give us a good strong hold. So for this example, we'll be using everything from the half inch row here. So I'll start with this drill bit. Now we could use a handheld power drill with everything in this kit, but in order to keep everything as square as possible, I'm gonna be using this drill press. Now the purpose of drilling these holes is purely to transfer that hole location from this panel to this panel so that they're perfectly lined up. A lot of times with these odd shapes, it'd be really hard to measure that exact location on each of these panels once they're separated. Now obviously here in our example, I drilled from the front side just for show purposes so you could better understand what I was doing, but you could also drill from the back side so that you don't have a hole on the front. No big deal here, if you do drill from the front, you can just fill it in with body filler or wood filler. Now the next step is I can grab my half inch magnet match bit and I've got it loaded in here. And now I'm gonna drill that countersink hole for the magnet. Now my magnet match bits are a prototype so they don't have this feature, but the ones that are shipping will have a line on the side that indicates how deep you need to go into the workpiece in order to allow for fitment for the mobile solutions magnets. Now it's time for the fun part. We're gonna use our mallet to put our magnets in their newfound homes using the magnet alignment plates. So the good thing to do here is you wanna just make sure that you're consistent in how you apply these. So if we have our north facing up, you can see that it obviously repelled that side and it attracted that side of the magnets. So we have north facing up and we're going to do our base here first. With the base done, now I can apply the magnets to our insert here. So I'm gonna to wanna to make sure that I take that stack and flip them around onto the other side so that now north is facing down. Now with the magnets added, it's time for that incredibly satisfying magnet click. Boom, perfectly aligned. You can see the gap is perfect. It's aligned just how we want it to be. And if we flip it over here, that panel is not going anywhere. It is held in there really nice and secure to the point that it's hard to even really get it out with your fingers, which is what we want, but you can carefully use a pry panel to do so. Now the magnets are installed into the base and the insert, and because of these custom-made magnet match bits that are undersized from nominal in order to have a nice tight fit on those magnets, those magnets are not coming out, not going anywhere. Of course, on wood and softer materials, it probably would still be a good idea to do a little dot of CA glue on each of them before you press that magnet into them, but on materials like acrylic, you're definitely gonna get a super solid hold. So there you have it guys. Next time you need to use magnets throughout a build, definitely check out the magnet fitment system. You can learn more at the links down in the video description. Again, I'm Mark from the YouTube channel, Car Audio Fabrication, here today on behalf of Mobile Solutions. Thank you guys for watching.